When it rains here, the drops are heavy and warm, just like the tears of Mariandra, Bernard or my own. Sometimes it feels like this whole damn place is crying. And just as they work together in life, they are united in death too. Each white cross represents a farmer killed in a farm attack, row on row, clawing their way up the hillside in a last determined effort to make a stand. And here, just as in the media and elsewhere, the individual stories fall away. Suddenly there are too many to count, the sheer numbers hiding the horrors represented by each cross. Each of these crosses is not one farmer shot or stabbed. It is a wife raped, or a child thrown in a boiling bath, or a grandma scolded with hot irons across her chest just for the pleasure of her pain. That's, that's the only thing we can, can hold on to. Um, there's nothing else we can put our trust in these days. So you hold on to the land? Yeah, and God stays as well. I thought, hey, I was angry with him. <laughs> said, what the hell, where were you? But now I can see he was here. Here's the bullet though, my son was there. There's a lot of things that happened in this yard that day. He was in, con in control. And these beliefs do unite them. As I drive about on this epic journey, the symbols of faith are everywhere. From crosses on the side of buildings, to signs on the gates, even crafted by the hands of the victims themselves. It's almost as if the more desperate the situation, the more important God or faith becomes. Maybe that's true for all of us. Who else can you lean on when nothing else makes sense? He's our hero. And I keep telling my kids as well, because if it wasn't for him taking literally all the bullets, what happened to us? What would have happened to us? So he, he, he gave his life for us. Why do you do it? So that I can sleep safer tomorrow night when my neighbor does it, because who else is going to do it? <laughs>